Hey everyone, I'm Kate from Morton's on the Move and today I'm going to be talking about our solar system. We're going to be making a number of videos about our solar system and we're going to be taking you through the technical and the installation of it. I'm going to be talking about the how, what, when, where, and why of our solar system. We've been traveling in RV for a little over two years and we finally decided to invest in a solar system. When we started our RVing adventure, we decided not to install one right off the bat and opted instead to go for a generator. Now that choice was because solar is a big investment and if you don't plan to use it for a really long time, um, it may not be worth it. For us starting out, we didn't know how long we were going to be RVing, but now that we've reached the two year mark and there's really no end in sight, solar is really something that we've been wanting to do, so we decided it was time. For us, a generator was a really cost-effective off-grid power solution. And as we've used it for the past two years, we've really enjoyed boondocking. And so solar is just only gonna make that easier. A generator is a really cost-effective off-grid power solution. And for the past two years, it has worked really great for allowing us to go off-grid and boondocking. We love boondocking so much that we're really excited that the solar system is only gonna make it easier and get rid of a lot of the generator drawbacks. Obviously, a generator is louder than a solar system. You have to actually turn the generator on when you want power from it, and in a portable case, you actually have to go outside, no matter the time of day or elements outside. A solar system is just on. The system that we're installing is a hybrid system, so that if we need to, we can combine the power of the solar system and the generator to upsize our overall power. That means that we can run high power things like our AC, even cook on it, etc. Solar is the more environmentally friendly option as well. And even though there are upfront energy demands for making the panels, we're planning to use them long enough that that will be paid off. So now it's winter 2017, 2018, and we're really excited to be in one place for a little while so we can finish up this solar install. We've been working on it in phases as we've traveled, and finally we're gonna be in one place to get it all done. No surprise, we are gonna be installing the system ourselves. Tom actually did the design of it, and we are planning to put about 1,200 watts of solar on our roof. However, there is a little bit more room up there for more panels should we decide to expand. We are coupling the system with 24 volt lithium ion batteries and a 24 volt hybrid inverter, which is gonna be how we combine the solar system with the generator system. So that 1200 watts is the size that we chose so that we can use our solar system no matter the weather. Even if it's a cloudy day, that oversized system will allow us to run things like the lights and the electronics. If it's sunny outside and we're making lots of power, we're hoping to be able to even cook on electric. If there's even more unused power, we're planning to dump that into our electric hot water heater so that we don't waste that extra energy and don't have to heat the water with another means like our propane. Typically, a solar system of this size isn't going to be cost effective for somebody who's not going to do a lot of boondocking. We are planning to do a lot of off-grid living, so this solar system, which costs us around $4,000, we'll share the breakdown with you later, is going to pay itself back for us in about two to five years. In addition to that relatively short payback period for us, the convenience of having the solar on all the time is going to outweigh a lot of the costs involved. We are super excited to have you along with us on our solar journey, so stick around, especially if you wanna find out how we're using a Tesla electric car battery doing a 24 volt conversion system, installing a hybrid system, and more. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Caitlin, and I'll see you next time.